Blessed art thou, Adonai, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with the commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai, sweeten the words of your Torah in their mouths and in the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we all, may we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his house, to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Bless you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch you, over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you, may he be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Luke 4.31 through 5.11. Alright, looks like it's going to be a little bit slow today. And he went down to Capernaum, a city in Galilee, and he was teaching them on the Sabbath. And they were astonished at his teaching, for his word possessed authority. And in the synagogue there was a man who had the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, He, what have you to do with us? Yeshua of Nazareth, have you come to destroy us? I know you, I know who you are, the Holy One of Elohim. But Yeshua rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. And when a demon had thrown him down in their midst, he came out of him, having done him no harm. And they were all amazed, and he said, and said to one another, What is this word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And reports about him went out into every place in the surrounding region. And he rose and left the synagogue and entered Simon's house. Now Simon's mother-in-law was ill with a high fever, and they appealed to him on her behalf. And he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. And immediately she rose and began to serve them. Now when the sun was setting, all those who had any, all those who had any who were sick with various diseases brought them to him. And he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. And demons came out of many, crying, You are the son of Elohim. But he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was Hamashiach. And when it was day, he departed and went into a desolate place. When the people sought him and came to him, and he would have kept him, and would have kept him from leaving. But he said to them, I must preach the good news of the kingdom of Elohim to other towns as well, for I was sent for this purpose. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. On one occasion, while the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of Elohim, he was standing by the lake of Genesaret. And he stood, uh, and he saw two boats by the lake. But the fishermen had gone out of them and was rushing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, which was Simon's, he asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people from the boats. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. And Simon answered the master, We have toiled all night and took nothing, but at your word I will let down the nets. And when they had done this, they enclosed a large number of fish, and their nets were breaking. They signaled to their partners in the other boats to come and help them. And they came and filled the, both the boats. So that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Yeshua's knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with them were astonished at the catch of the fish that they had taken. And also, and so also were James and John, son of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Yeshua said to Simon, Do not, do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. And when they had brought their boats to land, they left everything and followed him.
Blessed art thou, Adonai, King Universe, who has given us Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah, Brukata Adonai al Hinu, Malaka lo Asher Natu, Asher, Natan Lanu, Tret Emet, Baishie, Alom Nata Betekinu, Brukata Adonai, Natain Ha Torah.